yes the next concept is cleans uh, theorem is uh, on this concept there will be one question is compulsory for your examination okay uh, just i am going through the some basic concepts here okay try to understand those concepts on those uh, concepts there are the problem example okay there are example problems are there on these concepts okay just to uh, just i'm going to glance over the uh, some basic things here uh, cleans theorem okay just you see finite state machine and regular expression define the same class of languages that is they are equivalent that is they are equally powerful okay here you see finite state machine fsm and regular expressions yes or no both are same only here finite state machines meaning is that here we are going to construct with a regular languages no yes you see here in this uh, previous session i am going to convert regular language to the regular expression okay this is equivalent to this one yes or no both are equivalent to with each other regular language is equivalent to regular expression okay we know that the regular language is going to be accepted by the fsm so that similarly the regular expression is also going to be accepted by the fsm so that finite state machines and the regular expressions are the same class of languages they are equivalent they are equally powerful okay and uh, some theorem just to see here any language that can be defined with a regular expression can be accepted by some fsm so it is a regular yes or no okay i am going to convert the regular language into regular expression yeah you seen in the previous uh, session okay i am going to convert regular language to the regular expression this regular expression is also accepted by the regular that is a fsm that is a fsm this is also same here and uh, he has given the proof of this one uh, for every regular expression there is an equivalent fsm yes or no for every regular expression for every long for every regular language uh, there will be a regular that is a fsm is there no in the same way for every regular expression there will be equivalent fsm here you see we can show that given a regular expression alpha we can construct an fsm m m is the machine okay such that uh, l of alpha is equal to l of m it is a regular expression alpha is equal to a regular expression that is a regular uh, fsm it is a m here we first show that there exists an fsm that corresponds to each primitive regular expression yes or no the meaning is that we should show that uh, for the regular language there should be an equivalent regular expression yeah, as you seen in the uh, previous uh, slides okay then regular expression that exploits the operations of concatenation yes we know that concatenation meaning is that what here writing the uh, strings one after the other writing the letters one after the other union means what here union means what a union b one union zero union one like that we are writing now union operation that is a or b okay clean star operation meaning is that here star meaning a raised to star meaning is that here zero occurrence of a or any number of times occurrence of a clean star meaning is that here a raised to star for example zero occurrence of a or any times occurrence of a okay yes here you see some of the examples okay all these examples will help you to solve the uh, further example problems okay all these are very important okay uh, here you see the we first show that there exists an fsm that corresponds to each primitive regular expression 
ओके फिर उसी इफ अल्फा इज नल इफ अल्फा इज नल वी कंस्ट्रक्ट फॉर इट हियर अल्फा इज अ रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन आई हैज टोल्ड नो हियर रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन अल्फा वी कैन शो दैट गिवन रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन अल्फा नो हियर अल्फा इज द रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन व्हाट इज रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन मैथमेटिकल स्टेटमेंट मैथमेटिकल statement here you see if alpha is null we construct for it the simple fsm like this what he has done here only beginning state is there yes sir only beginning state is there it is not having any strings to be accepted yes sir no it is not having a regular expression at all only beginning state represents that okay null regular expression null regular expression here you see it. alpha is the regular expression it is null okay we have how to show with the help of the fsm only we have to write the beginning state of the fsm it shows that okay regular expression is null it shows that regular expression is null here second you see here If alpha is any C, alpha is any character C. Okay, that belongs to the summation. Okay, we construct for it a simple expression. Meaning is that yeah, regular expression is equal to C. Only it is having the character C. C is an alphabet from the summation. Yes or no? Ultimately, C character belongs to the summation. Okay, here the regular expression alpha is equal to C. then how to represent that with the help of the fsm like this beginning state accepting state in between there is a transition from the beginning state to the accepting state okay over the transition line i am writing the input character to be accepted by the fsm input character to be accepted by the fsm yes very important okay here you see regular expression is null we should write only the beginning of this state okay if alpha is equal to c only c character you write beginning state and uh, accepting state okay and there will be a transition from beginning state to accepting state over an alphabet c here transition from beginning state to accepting state over an alphabet c here okay then coming to the third one if alpha is a epsilon epsilon meaning is that here null string we construct an fsm for this one how like this yes or no null mean empty means what a empty string means what here beginning is also same and accepting is also same here here is two rounded circle and with the beginning incoming arrow mark is there no incoming arrow mark with a circle represents the beginning state and two double circles represent the accepting state okay for the regular expression is equal to epsilon null string okay then we are going to write like this beginning is also same and accepting is also same for the null string next one here you see it is some uh, okay let beta and gamma be regular expressions just like in regular languages if beta and gamma are regular expressions if l of beta is regular this is what here regular expression if l of beta is regular then fsm m1 is equal to k1 summation delta 1 s1 and e1 what is k1 here number of states in the fsm summation input state alphabet delta is the transition function s1 is the beginning state and a1 is the accepting states in the fsm so no if l beta and gamma are regular expressions then l of b is regular then fsm m1 is equal to this one 
and yellow uh, gamma is regular, then FSM MP is equal to this one. Okay. And fourth one you see here, if alpha is a regular expression, if alpha is a regular expression, beta and gamma, if alpha is the regular expression, that is beta union of gamma, and if both L of beta and L of gamma are regular, then create a new start state and connect it to the start states of M1 and M2 via epsilon transitions. Epsilon transitions. The meaning of this one is what here. Okay. You will have the clear idea on this concept while solving the example problems. Okay. Uh, just I am telling you that here. Here alpha is a regular language that is equivalent to beta union gamma. Here beta is also a regular expression and gamma is also a regular expression. This is a union operation between the beta union gamma. How to draw an FSM for this beta union gamma? How to draw a regular expression for this beta union gamma? Beta is also a regular expression individually and gamma is also a regular expression individually. Okay, I am going to make the union operation between the beta and gamma so that the whole will be also the regular expression. Okay, how to draw an FSM for this one? How to draw an FSM for this one? First, you should draw the Fsn for this one, then you should draw Fsn for this gamma, then you make the union between these two. How means what here? You see here. S1 is the uh, Fsm for the beta. M1 for expression 1. This is beta. Okay, this is a regular expression Fsm for the beta and this is the regular expression for the gamma. That is M1 machine M1 and machine M2, FSM M1 and FSM M2. This is for beta, this is for gamma. Okay, these two are having relation with the union operation. These two have relation with the union operation. How to show? Okay, you can have a write a beginning state. Okay. Write a beginning state and that beginning state is connected to the S1 and S2. Okay, that beginning state is connected to the beginning of the beta and beginning of the gamma. Yes or no? This is the beta, this is the gamma. Okay, beta union, union, how to show union operation? Okay, write a one more state, one more beginning state like this. Okay, and connect that beginning state to the beginning of the beta and beginning of the uh, gamma with a, the epsilon transition. What is epsilon? For null input, there will be a transition. For null input, there will be a transition. Okay. We will discuss these things with the help of the example problems. Just here is given the theoretical explanation here. Okay. We are going to discuss all these things with the help of the, the example problems. Don't worry right now. Okay, here you see for the beta I have constructed this FSM, for gamma I have constructed this FSM, there will be a union operation between them. How to show union operation between them? First you should write the one more beginning state, okay, and join that beginning state to the beginning of the beta and beginning of the gamma with the epsilon transition. We will see all those things with the help of the, the example problems. <coughs> Uh, this is a with related to the union operation. The next thing is, uh, yes, with related to the concatenation. You see here, if alpha is the regular expression, uh, then beta gamma. Beta gamma is what here? Concatenation of beta with gamma. Concatenation of beta with gamma. How to write this one? Here you see. Beta, no. First you should write the beta. Okay. Then you should write the gamma FSM, then connect these two beta and gamma with a epsilon transition like this. Okay. This is an FSM for the beta. This is an FSM for the gamma. Okay. I am going to connect the FSM of beta and gamma with a epsilon transition like this. 
okay on this also we are having the example problems just to observe this theoretical explanation theoretical explanation okay yes i told you no there are three operations what is their concatenation no union no and clean star clean star meaning is that here star meaning is what here null or any number of times occurrence of the particular thing yes or no here you see if alpha is the regular expression over an uh, beta star here beta is the what is beta regular expression that is star so meeting will end in 5 minutes okay just to see here beta star means star meaning is that it is null or any uh, number of times of the thing no here you see uh, first i am going to write the uh, fsm for beta yes this is an fsm for okay this is an fsm for beta correct m1 for expression 1 means so it is a beta okay uh, i want to make it is a star okay in order to make it star okay we should write okay we should write uh, one more state okay which we have to make it as a accepting state also and beginning state also okay here you see first i have written the uh, fsm for the beta then we should add one more state which is beginning also which is accepting state also like this here you see s2 is there no s2 is beginning also here you see beginning means what here rounded circle with a incoming arrow accepting state means what here two rounded circle so that we add one more state which is beginning also and accepting also okay and join and join the new start state to the old start state with a epsilon transition here you see s1 is the uh, old start state no you add one more new start state and make it as a accepting start state and join uh, a transition from new start state to the old start state like this with a epsilon transition okay then after that then you after that okay uh, for the old accepting state okay here s1 is there no here beginning is there one more accepting state is there from the accepting state of the from the old accepting state of the m1 we are going to have the epsilon transition to the uh, old start state of the fsm you may have confusion over here okay i will solve with a example only i will solve with an example just to observe here a uh, star meaning is that here first i am going to write the fsm okay in order to make the star clean star you add one more star state make it as a beginning state then to make the transition from that uh, state to the old uh, start state of the fsm this is one thing after that uh, old accepting state of s1 here he has not shown here one more uh, accepting state will be there here one more or any, any number of accepting states will be there here from all the accepting states okay you should have the epsilon transition to the old start state of the fsm here you see this is a old start state no s1 s2 is the new start state you have to make the uh, epsilon transition from all the accepting states of the m1 to the old start state of the <coughs> m1 here okay tomorrow uh, we will go into solve the uh, examples on this all concepts tomorrow we will see the examples on these con concepts